So much media, so little time. Who keeps track of it all? That would be me. This is Bob Andelman, and this is the Mr. Media Interview, broadcast and recorded live on blogtalkradio.com from the new media and American League Baseball capital of the world, St. Petersburg, Florida. Greg Olegnik stars in a new NBC and CTV drama series, The Listener, that you may have already seen on Fox if you live outside of North America. The Listener stars Olegnik and Ennis Esmer as paramedic partners. And if that sounds a little like the NBC hit from the 1970s, Emergency, the one that had the exclamation point, <laughs> wait for the catch. Olegnik's character, Toby Logan, is a telepath. Listen to this. If you had the ability to hear people's thoughts, would you use it to help yourself or someone else? What did you suffer me, didn't it? Would you have the courage? Must be like walking through someone else's nightmare. To face your demons. Yeah, sometimes it can be like that. And do something. If only I hadn't let her go. Extraordinary. I stopped looking the other way, and I saw the truth. This isn't a curse. Show my hand! The gift. The Listener premieres Thursday, June 4th on NBC. And joining me today to preview The Listener, which makes its American television debut tonight on NBC at 9 p.m. with back-to-back -back episodes, is Craig Olegnik. Craig, welcome to Mr. Media. Thank you very much. Nice to be here. Hey, congratulations on the show. I'm sure it's a pretty exciting day for you. Uh, um, sorry, yeah, a little cough here. Uh, yeah, I appreciate that. It's, it's a nice, um, it's a relief to get here. To It's been a long push, a lot of energy, at least a year, year and a half of, of really putting a lot of myself into this. So um, it is nice to have it out there tonight. I understand. Was it last night that it debuted on CTV? Yeah, up here in Canada. Um, it, it debuted last night, and uh, it's also doing episode two tonight at the same time as NBC. Uh, NBC is doing their back-to-back, -back, obviously. And then next week, it's just uh, CTV and NBC will simulcast on Thursday nights. Wow. Cool. And hopefully the playoffs are all figured out by then, and, and we can move on. Yeah, well, I, I wouldn't worry about Toronto being in the playoffs, so that shouldn't be an issue up there. No, no. <laughs> but, you know, the, 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 the NBA Finals and the NHL Finals uh, begin tonight. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm thinking ahead to the Blue Jays and the Rays. I'm sorry. Yes, of course. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, Toronto's, Toronto's just nipped themselves a little bit lately, so uh, they're sliding. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to have a winning team for a while. Yeah, we, we, we've enjoyed it down here for a while, and it comes and goes, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. You guys really have good luck down there. Yeah. Well, all right, let's, let's get down to business about the show. Let's put this telepathic power uh, of your characters to the test. Tell me what I'm thinking right now. Uh, you are thinking about some shrimp, which is odd. I don't know, are you? I, I'm just making yeah. this up. It doesn't really work with the phone that well. This is a long distance we are on. Oh, I see. Well, okay. It was the shrimp was a. I guess it was a good guess, but no, you, you're, you'd be wrong. I, I was. I was imagining your co-star, Mylene Dinrobic, uh, naked. Sorry. Oh, okay. I mean, All right. You, you like uh, you like the uh, the brunettes. Well, you know. <laughs> All right. Listen. Tell folks about the show. What, what what do we need to know about the show going into tonight? Uh, it, basically, tonight is really the introduction and, uh, of, of my character and, and the relationships he, he has, uh, lim as limited as they are. But uh, my character is an orphan. He's uh, always had the ability to read people's minds. He works with a mentor, played by Colm Fjord, uh, to suppress uh, the, the images and the thoughts so that he can just deal with himself. Uh, and then he's got to a point in his life where he's kind of bored with status quo and he begins exploring what he can and cannot do uh, with his ability. And he, he becomes driven by people's puzzles that, that, that often have a lot of missing pieces. Uh, he, he runs into people in his job, obviously, in, in desperate situations, and, and he starts getting... Uh, uh, thoughts, ideas, and images off of them that, doesn't, that don't quite jive with what he, you can see. So he begins, uh, he gets driven by, to, to solve these people's uh, puzzles in a way, which is also, you know, him exploring 
uh, himself and what he can and cannot do. So it kind of takes on like a, a Jack Bauer-esque type of um, pace. And he doesn't have a gun. He's not working uh, with a guiding force or anything. It's all himself for himself. And the biggest thing is that people don't know that he is telepathic. There's only one person, and that's it. So he's, got a, he's always got a white elephant in the room, or, or like he, he's the cat with a canary in his mouth. He, there's always something going on with him. So, so that's he, the kind of dance. Is he developing his own uh, uh, slate of ethics that apply, or you know, do, do, does he use the ethics when it, it suits him, or is he just generally an ethical guy about using this power? Well, yeah, it's, he, I think he's been so afraid of using it in the past because of the ethical issues it brings up, uh, because you, you have to act upon what you know. Um, and that's, that's kind of the, what, what always kept him away from it. Now, when he's opening it up, he's getting these thoughts. Uh, you know, he's understanding a person's situation that isn't quite um, cool. And he, he doesn't go home and, and go to sleep and move on with his life. He... He, he kind of, yeah, connects ethically and, and morally. He does something about it. He fixes it. Um, and, and beyond that, he's, he's not a superhero or a hero. He's, you know, reluctant. It just just happens. This is the way it all works out. It's, uh, you know, he's following, I hate using these analogies, but it just it, it makes it simple. But he's following the rabbit down the hole. He doesn't know why, but he is. You know, it's like Alice, she just goes. And, and then she goes on an odyssey. Well, let, let me. Uh, we've got time for uh, barely one more question. Let me ask you this: If you if you had uh, your choice, if you, if you if you could actually have a superpower, would it be to be telepath? Now that you've been through this for 13 episodes, or would you like X-ray vision, or would you like to be able to fly, or something else? For me, it's flying. I, I would do the flying, and, and I have some stipulations. It would be um, I could fly from very slow to light speed, so it almost like makes it like teleportation as well. But uh, I have a lot of dreams about flying, so I would love to fly. Obviously, the man has given this some thought. All right, folks. I have. (laughs) (laughs) You can catch me Thursday nights this summer at 10 p.m. on NBC and also on CTV. Uh, I understand people uh, outside of North America have already seen 13 episodes on Fox. That's uh, right. Craig, uh, thanks so much for joining us on Mr. Media today, and good luck. I hope you guys get picked up for another season. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Take care. Bye-bye. And folks, for uh, more interviews with uh, your favorite TV stars, surf over to our main website, www.mrmedia.com. That's where you can listen to my earlier conversations with Southland's Michael Cudlitz, Sean Hattosi, Regina King, as well as Ennis Esmer from The Listener. Please think about writing an online review of Mr. Media, casting a vote for Mr. Media, or marking Mr. Media as one of your favorites. Whether you listen on Blog Talk Radio, Pointer Online, MySpace, Facebook, NetVibes, Multiply, Zanga, Digital Journal, Friendster, Workit, Bebo, Tag, Google, Yahoo, Podcast, Pickle, Vox, Folio, Mediafly, Podfeed.net, Blueberry, Zencast, or Odeo. And subscribe to Mr. Media on iTunes, and you'll never miss a show. Sorry. <laughs> Just search Mr. Media Interviews within the podcast section of iTunes and click the free subscribe button. It's that easy. You can also listen with a piece of string in a tin can in many locations. If you've got an idea for a guest, email me directly at bob at andelman.com. That's A-N-D-E-L-M-A-N. You can also follow me on Facebook or on Twitter, www.twitter.com slash andelman. Thanks so much for joining us today. I always appreciate when you give a piece of your day to spend it with us.